मैथ्स मेला सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट ऑडियो बुक मैथ्स मेला टेक्स्ट बुक ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स फॉर क्लास थ्री चैप्टर इलेवन फिलिंग एंड लिफ्टिंग पेज वन हंड्रेड थर्टी नाइन हाउ मच कैन यू ड्रिंक ऑन टॉप ऑफ द पेज वी हैव अ पिक्चर ऑफ अ शुगर केन जूस शॉप वेयर देर इज अ पोस्टर दैट सेज Drink six glasses of juice and get your money back. Chintu reads the poster and tells Shambhu, "I can drink six of these smaller glasses." Shambhu says, "You need to drink six of these bigger glasses of juice to get your money back." Chintu says, "No, I cannot drink six big glasses." Why do you think Chintu does not take the challenge? Do you think you can take the challenge? Teacher's note: Children should understand that if one takes a bigger glass, then we may drink a fewer number of glasses. So one may not take the challenge. Page one hundred forty. Whose glass holds more? Nita and Monu visit Ritu's house. Ritu's mother gives them milk in different glasses. Who do you think gets the most milk? Here we have a picture of Nita, Monu, and Ritu along with Ritu's mother. The children have different glasses in their hands filled with milk. Nita says, "I drink so much milk." Monu says, "I drink more milk than you." Ritu says. I drink milk in a big glass. Ritu's elder sister finds out who drinks the most milk like this. She pours the content of the glasses in three same-sized glasses. On the right side we have a picture of Ritu's elder sister along with Ritu's glass, Monu's glass and Nita's glass. Ritu's glass, Monu's glass and Nita's glass are poured in three same sized glasses let us discuss 1 who drank the most milk 2 who drank the least milk page 141 3 fill in the blanks with more or less a nita's glass holds dash milk than monu's glass b monu's glass holds dash milk than nita's glass C Ritu's glass holds dash milk than Nita's glass. 4 Tick the right name. A Nita or Monu or Ritu's glass holds the most milk. B Nita or Monu or Ritu's glass holds the least milk. Let us do. Get 3 vessels like a small bowl, glass and bottle. of different sizes from your home guess how many small bowls will fill the glass how many glasses will fill the bottle first guess and then pour water from one vessel into another to check if your guess is correct we have a table with three columns column 1 vessel column 2 my guess for the number of small bowls column 3 how many bowls On the right we have a picture of water being poured from the bowl into the glass. Row 1, glass, dash, dash. Row 2, bottle, dash, dash. Write your answers in the blank spaces. 1. Fill in the blanks with the most or the least. A. The glass holds dash water. B. The bottle holds dash water 2 name the vessels that are used in your home that can store more water than your bottle teachers note children may get different vessels but they should be able to draw conclusions about their capacity page 142 let us do here we have a picture of a mela many different shops are seen people are busy doing many activities There are children on some toy shops and some people are having refreshments and one man is having a lemonade glass. 
we have some pictures of different vessels given here in four circles. 1. How many ladles fill the bowl? 2. How many glasses can be filled by the jug? 3. What will you use to fill half of the glass? 4. Which of these would you use for distributing the lemonade in glasses? Why? 5. How many glasses can be filled with three jugs of lemonade? 6. How many ladles are needed to fill four glasses? 7. Can you use a ladle, bowl or a glass to find out how much lemonade a jug can hold? Teacher's note. Let children discuss how many times they will have to pour using each thing. Discuss how utensils with less capacity can be used to fill a utensil of larger capacity and how utensils with larger capacity can fill a number of utensils of smaller capacity. Let them conclude that in both cases the quantity remains the same. Page 143. A measuring bottle. Nita sees the milkman pour milk using a measuring cup every day. Why do you think milkmen use measuring cups for giving milk? Discuss with your parents, grandparents and in your class. On the right we have a picture of a milkman using measuring cup to measure and pour milk. He says, This is a measuring cup for measuring one litre of milk. We also have a picture of Nita looking at a bottle. She says, I have a bottle which holds one litre of water. Let us use this one litre bottle to find out how much the jug, glass, bowl and ladle can hold. We have a picture of the bottle being poured into a jug. Nita pours water from the bottle into the jug. The jug is exactly one litre. Let us discuss. 1. Take the appropriate word in the sentences given here. A. The glass holds more than or less than one litre. B. The bowl holds more than or less than one litre. C. The jug holds more than or less than or exactly one litre. Teacher's note. Encourage children to do the above activities in the class. Discuss children's findings in the class. Children may get different answers depending on the vessels they choose. Teacher can get a few vessels and ask them to guess if each will hold one litre or more or less than a litre. Page 144. 2. Find the vessels at home that are exactly one litre. Use your one litre bottle to check. 3. Identify vessels that are more than or less than one litre. Let us think. Observe the picture and tick the appropriate word. Here we have three glasses and a bottle of water. And on the left we have the picture of a girl who is pouring water into a bottle using mugs. A. The mug holds a litre or half litre of water. B. The glass holds a litre or half liter or quarter liter of water. Let us explore. First guess and check with the one liter bottle. A. How much water does a bucket hold at your home? More than or less than or equal to one liter. B. How much water does a mug hold at your home? Less than or more than or equal to half a liter. C. How much water does a glass hold? Less than or more than or equal to a quarter litre. Teacher's note. Please procure measuring cups or vessels that have a capacity of one litre, half litre and quarter litre. Conduct the activities for measuring water in the classroom with children. Also encourage children to establish in class that four quarter litre glasses are equal to one litre and Two half-liter mugs are equal to one liter. Page 145. Do you know, to make a one-liter single-use plastic water bottle, we need about five liters of water. Less water is wasted if we use our own glass or reusable bottle. 
Here we have a picture of a boy who is trying to lift a five-liter water bottle. He says, It is too heavy for me. Heavy or light? Chintu is holding three textbooks in one hand and a pencil box in the other hand for 30 seconds. We have a picture of Chintu holding these two objects in his hands. He says, I count one, two, three, all the way to 30 seconds. Discuss in pairs why one hand of Chintu is lower than the other. Try holding these things in both hands. Make observations in pairs, which is heavier and which is lighter. Do you and your friends agree on which is lighter and heavier? We have a table with three columns. Column 1, things to compare. Column 2, my observation. Column 3, my friend's observation. Lunch box and pencil box. Dash is heavier than dash. Dash is heavier than dash. Your school bag and lunch bag. Dash, dash. Apple and watermelon. Dash, dash. A balloon filled with air and a basketball. Dash, dash. Teacher's note. Children need to understand that heavier things tend to go down due to their weight. Teacher can bring the pan balance or invite a vegetable vendor to give children some experience with weighing. Page 146. Let us do. 1. Write the names of the objects and their weights in the table given here. We have the picture of a weighing pan on the top right corner and a table with two columns. Column 1. Object. Column 2. How many coins or erasers balance the object? A. Pencil. Dash. B. Ping pong ball. Dash. C. Dash. Dash. D. Dash. Dash. E. Dash. Dash. Write your answers in the blank spaces. 2. Let us make another weight to measure slightly heavier objects. Fill a matchbox with sand and use this to weigh the given objects. Guess the weight in terms of matchboxes and then verify. We have a table with three columns. Column 1, object. Column 2, your guess for the number of matchboxes needed to balance the object. Column 3, number of matchboxes used to balance the object. Pencil box, dash, dash. A spoon, dash, dash. Four marbles, dash, dash. Dash, dash, dash. Dash, dash, dash. Write your answers in the blank spaces. Write the names of all things measured in the order of lightest to heaviest. A blank space is given for your answer. Teacher's note. Procure a simple toy pan balance. Use weights readily available like coins or unused erasers. Page 147. Let us do. Weight hunt. Do this activity in groups. Among your group, find a bag that is heavier than yours. Find a bag that is lighter than yours. Discuss. On the right, we have the picture of a school bag. 1. Why is your bag heavier or lighter? 2. Count the number of books to see if there is a difference in the number of books in the bag. 3. Can you make the two bags of about the same weight by moving a book? Discuss. How much is one kilogram? With the help of your parents, find objects in your home on which one kilogram is written. Feel it with your hand and guess what other objects may be one kilogram. Verify by checking on the label of the object or by asking your parents. On the right, we have the picture of a bag of rice which says it's one kilogram. 4. Write the names of the objects that are one kilogram. Blank spaces are provided. Let us keep a one kilogram salt packet or any other readily available packet as our measuring tool. 5. Can you guess which of these things are likely to be lighter or heavier than one kilogram? 
put a tick mark in the appropriate box. There are seven different objects given here. A pen, table, bottle, lunch box, balloons, pencil box, pillow. More than one kilogram, less than one kilogram. Put a tick mark in the appropriate blank boxes provided under all the objects. Page 148. 6. Look at the balance and tick the correct word. Here we have two pictures of a balance with different items in both the pans. A. Each dal packet weighs a half kilogram or kilogram. B. Each tea packet weighs a half kilogram or quarter kilogram or kilogram. In both the weighing scales, a salt packet of one kilogram is used to measure the weight. Let us explore. Look around your house and identify objects that are about half a kilogram and quarter of a kilogram. Feel these things with your hand and guess what other things are a half or quarter kilogram. List the objects that are about a quarter kilogram and a half kilogram. Verify with the one kilogram salt packet. Here we have a picture of a boy standing in his kitchen measuring the weight of different objects using his hands. Teacher's note. Have discussions with children in the class as to how children are making their guesses. Encourage children to discover or discuss relationships between one kilogram, half kilogram and quarter kilogram using the pan balance and the one kilogram salt packet. Page 149. Tricky balls. 1. Montu poses a puzzle to his friends. Three balls look similar in size. One of them is heavier and two balls are equal in weight. You have only a pan balance and no weights. Using the three balls and the pan balance, can you identify which is the heavy ball? We have the picture of three balls given here and a pan balance on the right. A. How many times will you have to weigh? B. Use the balance only one time and tell which is the heavy ball. 2. There are three same-sized balls of different weights and colors, red, orange and green. You can use the pan balance for it but cannot use weights. We have the pictures of the red ball, orange ball and green ball here. How will you find which one is the heaviest and which one is the lightest? Blank space is provided for your answers. Maths Mela, you were just listening to this audiobook. Narrator, Gaurav Marwaha and Vasundhara Bose. Sound recording and editing, Mayank Kumar. Directed and produced by Vimalesh Chaudhary. This audiobook is presented to you by CIET and CERT, New Delhi, India.